the marsh periwinkle snails um, if they are getting lots of cues that blue crabs are around sometimes even when the tide goes out and they should be able to climb down and eat other resources on the sediment surface they may decide that really the, th the threat of getting eaten by a blue crab is just too high and they're just going to hang out up on the plant there is much to fear for the marsh periwinkle its shell is easily infiltrated by a crown conch proboscis and is easily cracked by the claws of a blue crab. Its best defense is altitude. They aren't necessarily fast, but they're fast enough to escape larger snails, like crown conchs. This hermit crab occupies a vacant periwinkle shell, a grim reminder of what happens to snails who don't climb fast enough. Unlike the blue crab, a crown conch is a threat to periwinkles, even at low tide. Periwinkles are only truly safe when they are up and out of the water, happily resting on cordgrass or needle rush shoots.